Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're looking at the new Beretta 92 GTS Centurion. GTS, they make a full-size model. I reviewed that in January of this year. It was a recent launch. I was able to get some rounds downrange with it and walked away very confident that that was a fine handgun. And it has a 4.7 inch barrel. It is optic ready. It's available in two-tone and all black. But now they came out with the Centurion. What is the Centurion? Because Brett has other handguns that are called Centurion. This is a GTS Centurion. And what we're looking at here is a full size frame with a four and a quarter inch barrel, making the slide more compact compared to the 4.7 inch barrel with the full size. It has an extended magazine release. If we see that right there, it really sticks out there and it ships with two 18 round mags. Now, 15 round mags are available with this handgun and 10 rounds for those who live in states that require it. But if you go with this, it'll come in this case right here and two 18 round mags, if that's what you go with, the 18 round mags, lock, paperwork, everything else, nice Beretta case right there. But what else does it offer? Well, at this time, they don't have the two-tone model that they offer with the full size, but it is available in all black MSRP 899. The mag, nice mag, Beretta mags, no big deal there. But the G stands for the type of decocker that they offer, and the TS are twin sears that allows the decocker to be mounted on the frame, which was highly requested by many Beretta fans out there. So the decocker, you just push upward, and that will safely decock the hammer. And you really don't have to worry about it at that point because it is in double action, which is a heavier pull. They make all these optic ready. It's a real neat optic mounting system. I want to show you that because the top strap of the slide is very thin. So I like the way they did that. If you don't run an optic, you have serrated black rear sights and a fiber optic front sight. And I'm a fan of fiber optic. When I took this to the range, that fiber optic front sight just popped out. Now, Beretta calls the grip vertex style. A little more vertical makes a more natural point of aim when firing the handgun, and they have done very well because many of their releases have been vertex style grips. Also, the trigger is Extreme S. We'll show clear here. Extreme S trigger, and what does that mean? Well, it's pretty light and crisp with a short reset. Right there, we'll take another look at that. Nice reset. It has a three slot Picatinny rail and the Brigadier slide with the barrel exposed. I think it is super cool. Now, the trigger guard bevels down a little bit. It does have, well, a little indentation there. And then we'll take a look at the business end. So why would anybody want a shorter upper and a full-size frame? Well, people carry people who carry a, a full-size handgun like this, even though it's considered a compact, I consider it a full-size. It is a lot easier to do <laughs> just with a, with a shorter barrel. I took those two top pieces off, and that's what it looks like. All right, simple hex wrench. And here is the plate. This is cut to fit an RMR footprint. You have to order it separate from Beretta. Costs 45 bucks. And I think it's really cool the way they did this. Now they have many plate options. So no worries about that to fit your favorite red dot on there. But they also give you some longer screws in the bag. And it mounts like that. And then the optic just goes on top of that. Very interesting concept. When I first saw it, I had no idea how they did that. Now that I have this, I have a much better idea. And it looks like this with an optic mounted. So I have a Swamp Fox Justice 2, 
which is an RMR footprint that I'm going to put on this and get it back to the range and sight that thing in because a handgun of this quality deserves an optic. Let me show you how the 92 GTS Centurion disassembles. We'll go ahead and show clear. It has this button on the right side. I'm just going to push that in, take this lever, move it downward, and off comes the slide from the frame. Check out those frame rails. Rather thick. Here we have a uncaptured recoil spring and the four and a quarter inch barrel. And then you have to move that downward. All right. Put it back in. Same, same disassemble that many people are used to with the 92 series. That's why it's a 92 GTS. Couldn't wait to get my hands on this, to be honest with you. I, I love the 92 series. And just push it upward. Beretta has another Centurion. It's called the GTS Centurion. Really like the Extreme S trigger. Fell in love with it. I, I said I was going to get that full size GTS, but then they came out with the Centurion with the four and a quarter inch barrel. MSRP once again, $899, which is the same price with the black model with the 4.7 inch barrel. Okay, it's not the Centurion, it's the Beretta 92 GTS. This is the Centurion. So if you're wondering, Beretta came out with another Centurion. What in the world is it? Well, here it is. And this is a first look. And I took it to the range without an optic and shot it incredibly well. Just loved it. Now I can't wait to get an optic on there and hopefully improve the speed of my shots when transitioning because that is what an optic will do for you. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.